Well, hello there, gang. It's me again, Geezer. It's kind of nice out today. So what I'm doing is I'm getting ready to head down into the holler on the left side here. Start preparing things for deer season, which has really already started, but nobody's been hunting yet. But I got some corn to put out and check on my blind and my son-in-law's stand and <clears throat> just see what's going on and get things come make sure things are ready and I want to test out a theory uh, I'm thinking this mule the brakes are mechanical rather than power brakes and I know mechanics so I don't know but my son-in-law when I ask him he thinks the same thing so when I get up here to the hill that goes down I'm going to shut the engine off and coast and then see if the brakes work. The theory is, the reason I want to do that is when it gets cold and hunt, hunting time, I might, I think I want to coast, I can coast down to the bottom and not make much noise. Now when I'm done for the day, I can drive up. Because it's a tough walk up that hill. Woo! It ain't too bad in the summer. But in the winter, it's, it's a tough slog when it's cold or windy. Even in the summer, in the spring, the first couple of times I walk it, I got to take three or four breaks. But then by the end of summer, I just take one break in the middle. For a minute, just a couple of minutes, it don't take much. But we're going to go down the hill, you'll see it. I think, according to my GPS, I think when I checked it, it was 880 feet down there. And it's pretty steep. the hill where we was working the big maple from it's the same hill only it goes down a lot further as you're about to see now the thing is if the brakes don't work when I, after I turn the engine off I will probably drop the camera and, try, and grab the parking brake try and save myself here so let's just see let's put it in neutral key off I'll let it coast a little bit here Oh yeah, the brakes are working. Very good. Well, we'll just coast all the way to the bottom here and see how it works out. It'd be a good practice run. I think so what I'm thinking now is when I if I want to go down here to the secret spot, which ain't too secret no more, everybody knows about it. But then I can just coast down here in the mornings, not make too much noise, and then drive back up when I'm done. As you can see, it's a long ways down here. It's pretty steep. It's rocky, slippery. Of course, now for snow and ice, old mule here won't cut it. We've tried that before. She ain't got the gumption to get this hill on snow and ice. Not enough weight. Sometimes old red can't make it either. So. Then you gotta walk. But we're still headed down. See? It's a good ways down here. Way easy. Almost got away from me there. I bet my brakes are getting hot. I've been riding them pretty hard here. Good gravy. Then the ground gets real loose here when it's dry. A lot of rocks and stuff. So that's usually where we get stuck going up. Almost got stuck coming down. Ah, good grief. Ah. Would have been ugly if the brakes didn't work. <clears throat> ah, wow, wow. Mm. Woo! Would have been ugly if the brakes didn't work and I couldn't, the parking brake wouldn't stop me. Me down here smashing into a tree about now. Would be ugly. Be lights out. Oh man, I hope I don't need no zip ties. I forgot to bring some. I got some three foot zip ties for this one feeder. I was going to bring some down. I didn't do it. Well, that's what it is. Now yeah, we'll start up here. All right, that worked out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. You get up here in this little flat spot here. Get up in here. Got corn in the back. Stuff is banging me in the head here. 
don't know what the heck's going on. All right, we're here. Everything stopped. I'll be back. Hang on. Well, it probably is pretty hard to tell on video here, but things go down quite a bit further yet. There's like a seasonal creek down in there. It goes down quite a ways. And that big old sycamore over there, it's getting hollow in the middle. We need to take it down. My neighbor and I looked at it a couple of times. It would be interesting to take down. There's a lot of wood there yet, but once we get it down, we got to get it out of there. That's the trick. But it goes on there. There's a trail over on the other side. We'll be going down a little bit to the secret spot. So hang on. All right, here we are. I'm going to put some grass feeder here. I'll show you in a second. This, my son-in-law's got a stand here, a tree stand. You can just see it in that tree back there. There it is. Yeah, you can see it right there. And yeah, it's a pretty good spot because... Here we go. Back this out. Whoop, wrong way. Rookie cameraman. Anyway, I can see the trail's a little easier, maybe. Let's see, a little better. It goes down through there. And the main trail we just drove down comes down right there. And then turns and it goes off between them trees off to the other side. And that's where we're going to go in just a little bit. But first, got to put some corn in that there feeder. All right, hang on. I, I guess I'm the designated corn man during deer season. I guess because I'm here all the time. Corn's getting expensive again this year. Nine ninety-seven, ten seventy-nine at Rural King. And the West Union tractor supply was 15 something. So, I have to quit feeding corn when it gets all to 15. But then I found some at the Portsmouth tractor supply, and they only wanted $9.97. So I got five bags there. So I don't know what the deal is, why the price varies around. There's an elevator, <clears throat> I don't know, probably 30 miles from here. I'm going to have to go by there and see what their corn costs. Corn in the bucket. So why is the corn in the bucket? It's easier to pour than to try and lift that 50-pound bag up over my head and hit that little hole up there. <clears throat> I really need some zip ties for this tree. I'll have to bring some back down tomorrow or so. Yeah. I got some two and three footers. This, this one's held on right now with bailing flying. That's no good. And I don't put too much corn in. I get the new zip ties run through it. Make it easier to get a zip tie through the top anyway, maybe. A little harder to get the fish to zip ties to there with this full of corn. But sometimes you get lucky. Now we get the corn. That's gonna be good. Now we gotta set up the camera. Whoop! I guess I didn't retrieve the camera from last year. I see it on the tree over there. Well, that's kind of crazy. Kind of retarded too, huh? All right, let me flip you around here so you can see what's going on. So, we've got the corn in front of my son-in-law's stand. And I was going to put a camera up here, but I didn't take the one down from last year. So, I'll take it off and put it in. I got four new and four fresh ones in the 
you know, fresh batteries and cards are up to date. And so let's just see if the battery's even got any juice left in them here. What do you think? Maybe? And lights up. By golly, the battery's still got juice. Been sitting down here a year. Not much, though, by the little thingy. And it's got 216 pictures on it. Yep, just shut off, so the battery's right dead. So it's just enough to turn it on for a second. But it's got 216 pictures on the card, so we'll see what they are. We'll take this baby. What kid, where are you at here? Can you even see what I'm doing? Do you even want to see what I'm doing? Let's back you up a little bit. And the camera will go on that tree. But I'm working out of the... There, that's probably better, huh? I'm a rookie cameraman. You got to remember that, so... Well, let's see. I got to turn the stand around because I can't see. Hang on, I'm gonna, you're going to go for a crazy ride here for a minute. So I get this... Got to get this turned around, get the bubble where I can see and get things balanced back out a little bit. All right, now we'll try this again. Now we've got to put this leg down, balance it out a little bit. This leg down a little bit. Ground is anything but level around here. There. We'll go with that. Now we'll get... So, what I have here... I was going to put this camera down here. This new each one. See, it takes nice pictures, so we'll give it a try. Put that down there. Put that on there. Spin it around here. Uh uh. Drop the extension. I don't need that third one. Of course, I won't let go. All right, I reached. Now, there's uh, where the fourth and there it is. Oh man, I got lucky. Sometimes finding these rubber, these black, stretchy bandy thingies, it's pretty tricky when they fall down into the debris. They kind of blend in. Now, let's see. I'm going to make sure that's pointing towards the feeder area here. Of course, they got wide angle lenses on them, so that ain't too bad. And needs to go a little bit more to the left. This way. Let's try that. We won't really know till we get a couple of pictures. Oh, I think that's pretty good. Maybe just a little teeny bit to the right. Can you say smidge? I can see it. Can't smell a smidge to the right. Boom. Now, let's see. I think we got it. By George, I think we got it. Oh, yeah, I think that'll do. And so let's turn it on. I programmed it earlier, put fresh batteries, so I should have to do is turn it on and walk away. Here we go. Test position, everything comes on, clear picture, looking good. Turn it on, count down, I got 15 seconds to get out of the way if I don't want my picture taken. You know, and that looks like it's, I think we need to put a stick behind the top. Get it angled down a little bit. I do believe. Like that. There. 
Otherwise, it'd be taking pictures up there, I'm afraid. I'll try that. May drive back down tomorrow and see if we got any pictures, see what it looks like. Okay, now, we got to go for a ride again. I'm going to put you on pause a minute until I get in the mule and get the camera steady. All right, here we go again. We're going to go around to the other side now. Let me see how we can do this here. I don't know if I can make this drive over there one-handed or not, but we're fixing to find out. Let me see if I can straddle my leg with this somehow. Apparently not. About now. Yeah. can do here. There's Tarzan's rope. Pawpaw trees. More pawpaw trees down here. All right. Hey, now we can kind of, you can see down in there now how it goes on down in there. You can walk down in there. Can't drive though. Even if you could drive, you probably wouldn't get out. It gets pretty mushy. It stays pretty mushy down there, even when the creek ain't running. There was another trail here to the left that goes up, but it's pretty overgrown. It got washed out pretty bad, so I had to quit using it. Got a trail blocker here. Now what do we do? Time out. I'm gonna have to reconnoiter. I should have brought chainsaw down with me. Holy smokes. Looks like we got a big blow down here. It looks like the blow down took something else with it. Look at this dead ash. Holy cramally. Well, I'm going to have to look around here to see what we got. What was the original blowdown? Was it a piece of that sycamore? It was. Aha! That's what it was piece of that sycamore come off right there. So we're going to have to get on that next year. It's getting all rotten inside. I don't know how big the hollow spot is, but we should be able to salvage some wood because it's still alive way up there. So we can salvage some wood before it all rots away. But uh, look at that. That, that old big old branch broke off. It was holler. Dead, dying, so. Holy smokes. But the thing is now, the problem here today is I can't get down to the secret spot. Now, what are we going to do here? I'm going to have to... When that big branch from the sycamore come down. Here's the top of it. You can see the top had already broken off years before and it's getting rotten in there, piled up with junk. It took down this dead, probably another with an ash, something else. But the wood on it is still pretty good. But everything's blocking the trail here. All right, I'm going to put you on pause. Let me go scout around here. All right, I think I cleared enough. Then we can, I can drive around the, around the end of those. It's pretty steep there, so I don't know if I'll slide off or not. We'll see. I'm going to give it a try. 
But I definitely ain't gonna be able to hold the camera while I do it. So I have to put it down, turn it off, put it down. If I can get by, then we'll pick it up on the other side. See ya. All right, well, I got around there. It was a little tricky. Pushed on that log pretty hard. Some big pieces of wood down here. I got I got around it, so I don't know if I can get back around it to go back, but we'll see. <clears throat> now we're going to continue on down the trail and hope there's no more obstructions, which reminds me, right up in here, there it is, is Justin's. Justin, not Justin, my neighbor, but the other Justin. <clears throat> it's his tree stand right there. Can you see it? There it is. He's got a two people stand. He brings his stepson down sometimes and they hunt up together. So that's pretty nice. But it's right there. It's, uh, the, the blockage is right here before you get to his stand. So, walking's no problem. If they come down to hunt, they can walk it. Piece of cake. Driving. I got to come back down with a chainsaw and clean up, break, open up the trail anyway, and then next spring come down and clear it up good. All right, let's see if we can make the rest of the journey here now. This is a real leaner here. Tough driving with just one hand, but we're going to do what we can do. Oh, there's another branch down, kind of small. I ain't been down here this summer, this side. I should have come down. Make a note to self. So, make sure you come down in July or August and clear everything out every year. All right, we're getting there. There's my ground blind up there. It looks like it's got a big hole in it. A couple of big holes. I got a roll of gaffer's tape. Oh, there's some more trees down up here. Holy smokes. Oh, wow. I'm just leaving a mule here and I see what's going on. My goodness. We had stuff down here. Stuff down there. Why right, we got stuff down there? It's a branch here. No wonder my blind got a hole in it. That was ready to come down. That tree there, he'd get all dead and holler. Oh my. This is all new downs. This is down. There's the feeder. Luckily the feeder didn't get smashed. Looks like I forgot to pick up the cameras here too. I thought this morning when I was fixing my cameras in the house, I said, man, it sure seems like I'm short some cameras. Now I know why. This is two spots I forgot to bring them in. All right, hang on. 